there is some fine tuning. We found out that in the teaching of last this week, we explained how a lot of you made the coil, but you didn't make the what we call potential current difference in the plasma by connecting the two end of your coils to a voltmeter that you realign the plasma in your coating. A lot of you just made the coil, you nano coated it and you put it on the circuit. But what you forgot was when you nano coat a coil, you have to realign the plasma of the nano layers. What this means is what we thought on Tuesday, if you missed it, is that this will create a lot of problem. If you made a coil and you had your connections of gravitational and magnetic, I'll put them different that you can see it. If this is your gravitational and this is your magnetical, you have to, every time you nanocoat any of your coils, take your voltmeter, put it at 200 millivolt, connect the red to this end, sorry, the black end of the voltmeter to this end, and the red end to this end. This realigns the This realigns the nano coating that all your plasmas, which are built layer by layer, they all carry the same directional flow. This is important. Otherwise, what happens in your nano coating? You have plasma of the GANS and uh, what do you call it? Sorry, the nano material, which are looking opposite to each other, they resist each other then you have a problem. So this is one of the most important parts when you, the minute you take your coil out of the caustic, you have to realign it. It has to be done. This is something even in the videos which Armon made, we ex he explains it. You have to do it. And a lot of you have forgotten to do this. This will be one of your first point failure. We know now that when you do caustic coating, you get a lower performance than when you do gas heating co uh, coating. If you blow heat with a gas torch, your coils, you get a much better performance than if you nano caustic coated it. They look at each other, these two being busy at it. Oh, I told you we got a gas it. <laughs> these two lovers here in the teaching room they without talking you learn a lot from them how they come i told you you got to look at said no we did a casting with it but it still works but you understand it's beautiful to see you together it brings a lot of joy in sharing the knowledge but in a loving way which is the foundation way so what you need to know is that when you use the gas torch we realize now it gives you a much better performance than when you do nano coating with caustics. It's a huge difference in performance. We are even now reconsidering to reset the whole manufacturing side away from caustic because the performance is huge. The other thing most of you would have found out is when you made your nano coating, when you make your gravitational coil. When you make your gravitational coil in the center, this is two coils inside each other, and then you make your magnetical coil. What we notice, which you have to find out, you've got to do it yourself, is the gap between these two dictates your performance very much. If there is a big gap between your Nano, this is what we're even changing the design now, is this is your outer coil and this is your inner coil. There should be no gap. We made a mistake. We are very open. We make a mistake, we tell you. What we're trying to do in the next generation is to take this off. The closer these two touch, now what happens is that here you have a field which has, in a way, to reach 
another field. When you bring them close to each other, the two fields create their own infinity. So you boost your energy by up to 30 to 50%. So in fact, these two, the gap, if you can, when you make your coil, close the gap that they touch each other, your gravitational magnetical, and follow the ratio, which our research people have done. It's a beautiful way, the way you explain it. Keep to a ratio of nine. Ratio of nine, it seems to be effective in this. What does ratio of nine mean? Ratio of nine here is 180 turns. Yeah? 180 turns. That's nine if you put the zero away. Optimum number we see now for the outer core is 144 which is nine. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Our visitors from Hungary, good morning. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you again. We met you in the island. Good morning, please sit down. I remember you from Ninov. Ninov. Yeah, please sit down, please take place. Uh, we get visitors all the time from all over the world. So. When you put your um, outer coil, 144 turn makes you nine. But you still keep your inner core at 81 turns. This, what it does with 144, please sit on that side of there because you sit in the line of camera. Just sit on that side, please. Yeah, because you stay out of the line of okay. If you have a bald head, you don't mind, it's okay. But otherwise, uh, some people mind that, don't they, Marco? So, what happens is when you make it 144, which is 9, and when you make this 81, which is 9, now the second core comes to be sitting very much on the field matter next to each other. You reduce this and you keep the other one. So now what you have, in fact, is very much a coil like this. You've got two coils inside here, you've got two coils inside there, they are gravitational. Magnet. Now, the same way as you had, this proximity dictates your efficiency, the power. This is a beautiful, if I would love to publish this from our, this is what they call it, uh, the research team. This comes from our innovation team, and we have a beautiful guy there who works, he understands, I was telling him today, he works the same as I do. He doesn't look at the mining, he looks at the fields, and tests are showing what it is. So try, even if you made a coil, try to open it to 140, all you need to do is just pull it. You don't need to destroy it. Just pull it to change it to 144 and then bring it together. It brings, if you made the 81, together. And this infinity loop gives you a higher performance. Don't forget, you are not competition to us. You are assets. When you, all of you make system with work, you say, yes. The red circle ones have to bury their own grave. So you understand what it is. We work as one team. You learn something, teach us. The innovation team, which is set up by Cash Foundation, hopefully it'll be 20, 30 of them now, there's about four or five of them, they increase to that number around the world. Whatever they learn, whatever we learn, we don't keep that we do manufacture first to show we are better. We share it with you immediately. We discovered this in past 24 hours, 48 hours. So today's a public teaching, teach you. So when you make your coils, these things are important. The innovation center of the Keshe Foundation belongs to you, not to us. And us is you. So in any way, we all support each other. You find something new, write it to the innovation. This is that if you do this, I see a better performance. Without GANS, the system doesn't work. So what you will see, if you had a problem, you couldn't get your field right, 
just get, if you made 188 turn, just pull it to become to 144. And then all you need to do, don't even clip it. Just at the end of your line, just leave it along, let it be. Just use at this end turn instead of that end turn. This gives you a better performance. You can realign your system. Yes, you reduce your 180 to 144. The circle becomes closer to the 81 turn. So your gravitational magnetical is gravitational magnetical at the center, gravitational magnetical on the surface, and then the two gravitational magnetic fields, they create a flow inside. This is the, what we see, it seems to be perfectly in line. And what we're trying to do, if we manage in the coming few days, maybe by next Tuesday or next Thursday, we are flying literally one of these units made in the research lab here, that you can physically see it. The beauty with it is, when you do this and you get your heating right, you show you that you see it in the pictures, is that the color here for all your gravitational stays very purple blue and by the color of your inner ring you can dictate or see yourself how powerful your system is going to be if you make a fourth coating with the heating you see the strength goes much more i've seen this We've been talking to, with this with the innovation guys for nearly three, four, five weeks. I've seen so many pictures of it sent to me. You see, with the color of the gravitational ring, you can say how strong your system is. You don't need to wait. If you want to make it stronger, if we coat it for the fifth time, sixth time, would it be there? Would it give you a stronger? And it seems to be that even the gravitational ring of the gravitational system center changes color. So in a way, you can see the color of the magnetic gravitational field plasma. 